<laughs> Percy, slow down! But Percy wasn't listening. He just wanted to finish the mail train and get back to the sheds. He was resting until. <laughs> ah! Help! Help! Not again! Come back here! Help! Help! Up ahead were some sightings. Whoa! Oh no! Percy wasn't hurt, but his car had tipped over and mail spilled everywhere. It was much later when help had arrived to help Percy back on the rails. What happened, Percy? Driver says you had big fright. Yes, sir. And Percy tossed the top of hat about the diesel. Hmm. It could be Daisy the diesel rail car, but she wasn't out and about last night. I'll have to think things through. And Sir Tom the Hat walked away. The news about the diesel spread across the island. All the engines were doing their best to be very careful. <coughs> Meanwhile, Toby the steam train was chuffing along the line until. You must be careful. Ever since Percy's accident, Everyone's keeping an eye out to find big diesel engines like, Who cares? With the help of me and my good pinchy claw, nothing would stand in my way. Toby heard this. He puffed slowly away without being noticed. Steamy alert! Oh no you don't! Oh! Oh! Oh no! You thought you'd be leaving? No, 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 no. We'd like to have company. <laughs> right, Diesel? <laughs> oh, yes. That afternoon, Sir Tom had gathered his engines for a very important announcement. If any of you see an eight wheel diesel, please let me know. And with that, Sir Topham had walked away. I hope I don't meet up with this scary diesel. I really don't want to go out tonight. Why are you such a scaredy engine? Yarr, you must be careful, Thomas. That diesel could be looking anywhere beneath the shadows. Oh dear. At the steamworks, poor Gordon was waiting to be repaired. Until... Hello, Gordon. How are you? Oh, the indignity. I've been here for so long. I thought you were here for only one day. Sorry, Nia. I just want to pull the express again. Don't worry, Gordon. Rebecca will make sure to do an extra good job on the express. Hmm. Later that afternoon, Thomas had to stop at Signal. Please, Signal, please turn green. I have a race with Bertie. Patience, Thomas. You must wait for the green signal. Thomas waited and waited. The signal didn't turn green, but he did see Percy coming down the line. Thomas, have you seen Toby anywhere? Sorry, Percy, I haven't seen him. Oh dear, I have to find him. And with that, Percy puffed away. Thomas was puzzled. How strange. If Toby hasn't been seen, I must help look for him. Thomas dropped Ankorba off at the yard. Then he set off to find Toby. Thomas traveled through the dark. Even though it was cold, Thomas carried on. Up ahead, a signal was down. Thomas didn't want to stop, but he had to stop. Lost my buffers! It's so dark! Suddenly, a big diesel started racing at Thomas. Lost my buffers! The diesel stops right in front of Thomas. Ah! That's right. Get out of here. <laughs> this line is definitely closed. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Oh no! Thomas was then diverted Whoa. into a siding. Oh no!
Luckily, no one wasn't hurt. The next morning, James arrived with Rocky to clear up the mess. I should have known you little engines are scaredy engines. I'm not being a scaredy engine. It was just an accident. That's all. Good thing I don't get scared like you little engines. Yes, you do. Do you remember the time when you first met Gator? Um. Well. Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Don't even remind me. Okay, no more story time. We must finish the job. Yeah, I guess you're right. But Thomas was worried.